Seven knots. It's sloppy in here. There is no protected side of these islands. No. It just feels like everything has been such a fucking ordeal. Just like, ugh. We are Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly everything we owned, moved aboard a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. Oh. Previously on Making Our Way. Wow, the swell today is crazy. This is supposed to be the peak of the like, the California storm swell that we're getting down here. And it's, it's real. After leaving the Sea of Cortez, we've dealt with weeks of large swell being sent down the Pacific from the nine successive atmospheric rivers that struck California in January 2023. Oh, oh that's so sketchy. I don't know, it's been a little bit of a weird time here. This boat has not stopped moving in about two and a half weeks. Like, I mean, even right now, and we're just like sitting here, and it's you know, it's not violent or anything like insane, but it's just it's all the time. And I think that, um, at least for me, like it becomes really exhausting and really draining. We are leaving today, it's a little bit of an overnight jaunt to the next anchorage. We left Banderas Bay and sailed to the small town of Chamala beautiful beach it just it goes on for miles the problem is that it is a surf landing here and we are not versed in the surf it's like it's such a beautiful beach and all i want to do is walk down and jog down the whole beach it's like a water water everywhere type situation it's like so tantalizing but you can't get on the damn beach you can't touch it made it. We made it up the river. We made it to land. I feel like I haven't walked in a week. My legs are like, yes, give it to me. Let's go. We are going to go check out this little town, maybe pick up a few grocery items, and then we got to get out of here before this tide moves too much. <laughs> I think we have 20 minutes until slack tide, slack water. Yeah. We, we should go. be good for a little while yeah, after it turns out. I think it'll be alright, but yesterday was hectic AF. in this bay because there's some islands down at the southern end and we thought they'd get we'd give them a try it is crystal clear water which 
as you guys probably know, is my ultimate, ultimate favorite. So, sandy bottom, you can see the bottom. Rolling around just a little bit, but uh, check this out. Drop that flopper in. So we'll see how unbearable <laughs> the rolling is. It's not too bad right now, so you know we'll, we'll, we'll see. The surrounding islands have nice white sandy beaches that we can dingy to. So that's some good news. That is some good news. I think these guys want to go to the playa. Do you like my retro bathing suit? I do. You look very retro. Thank you. Welcome. The company I ordered these from just said, give us your size and we're just going to send you whatever is like low in stock, essentially. Really? 50% off. <laughs> the shit that no one wants. Yeah, so this is what I got. <laughs> nice. I was hoping to be a speedo, but... Oh, man. You know, you get what you pay for. Yeah. We threw the dogs in Chandler and headed out to find a beach with little to no surf to land on. But everywhere we looked, we seemed to find big breaking waves. This is no bueno. It's floppy in here. There is no protected side of these guys. No. It's a pretty island though. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah, this is too rocky, There's too much wave action. This dinghy is gonna get thrashed. What a bummer. I promised you a beach day and I just don't know if it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's just amazing how the swell is wrapping like everywhere. It's like doing a 180 degree turn basically. And our boat has become Honestly, I think we're just about to pick up anchor and move right back to where we were this morning. It's beautiful. so much beach and not be able to get on it. <laughs> like right off this point. Right Whoa. there. Oh. <laughs> you look like a baby. I know, I, I might be a mom and a baby. That was pretty cool. Wasn't expecting to see a whale in here. That definitely made an hour long trip <laughs> over to the islands worth it. <laughs> And a baby, a mama and a calf. Well, <laughs> here we are. Back from whence we came. And, um, you know, a little adventure this morning. Saw some whales, that was cool. I think it's just that today there happens to be a really pronounced south swell which is making those islands pretty uncomfortable. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm not loose. Well, the good thing is since the tides are smaller, I think we could get in the river. Anytime, pretty much go in there. Yeah. And now that we know the shallow bits. Yeah. We finally got the dogs to land to walk around. But as soon as we approached the river mouth by foot, we saw the effect of this south swell meeting an outgoing tide. I think that's just from the tide change since we came in? Or a big yeah. Swell? Steep breaking waves were forming at the mouth of the inlet, making our exit dicier and dicier by the minute as the tide got lower. They might not look like much on the GoPro from up here on the pier, but these were big enough to create some butterflies for both of us at the thought of Chandler getting totally flipped. Uh, yeah. 
might want to hit it before it gets worse. Yeah. Honestly, it just feels like everything has been such a fucking ordeal. Okay. Oh, wait for the next one to come through. Okay. Okay. We waited in the narrow river and watched the sets until we saw a short window appear, a break between the waves. There you go. And then it was time to gun it and get out. We left here around nine. That was a four hour ordeal to take the dogs for a four and a half minute walk. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Is that good for everybody? That we should have just gone in in the morning with them. And... Yep. Oh well. Oh well. I'm officially done doing shit today. I can't. I cannot. With no way to get safely to shore and the wind forecast not favorable to leave, aside from a couple short dinghy rides, we were confined to the 40 feet of via for the next two days. Where are you gonna put something if you get it? Definitely the wrong method. There are these really big fish that we occasionally see under the boat and they actually look like yellowtail tuna. Not tuna. Yellowtail. Yellow, yellowtail. No, they're kind of jack. Uh, yellowtail jack. <laughs> so, since we've nothing fucking better to do today, we're just gonna fish off the boat, I guess. Really all we're gonna do is throw this thing and retrieve it a bunch of times. <laughs> not fun. We're sort of stuck. There's just like a, there's like two big swells. One from like the northwest, one from the southwest. So kind of wherever we go, we're just getting rocked. And uh, that means like basically we, we can't get off the boat because the swell break on shore. can't get into the river because the swell's like breaking at the mouth of the river. Oh my god, the mouth to the river right now. Can't really do anything on the boat because it's rolling around so much. You can't party and get drunk because that just makes everything worse. Yeah, don't do that. You can't, uh, cooking isn't fun. It's just like, meh. Dogs are unhappy. I think I've done nothing to roll our guts out for a month. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. We got a couple things done today. At least we're making water and putting power in the batteries. That's... <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> That's it.
far has been a very nice, very mellow sail. I don't think we've seen over nine knots of wind, but it's for the most part been very favorable. So we've been kind of cruising along at like four to five knots. But the wind's been slowly kind of coming around on our nose and it's dropping. We only have 5.7 right We're now. We're doing 2.9. 3.2, thank you very much. <laughs> but we got to make it in before sunset. So I think I'm going to make my least favorite decision I ever make and turn on the engine. Maybe not my least favorite decision, but three knots, 5.6 of wind. We had our bow pointed at the Bay of Tenacatita, a longtime favorite stop for cruisers that was rumored, among other things, to offer great protection from the swell. managed to find parking. It's like a Costco parking lot out here. There's so many boats here. Um, but this should be fun. I'm excited to check this out. We're gonna have a beach day. I actually see a beach we can land our dinghy on. We're not rolling. We're not rolling. You know, we're moving, but like the normal amount. Like, so, so far so good. I can't wait to see what this week we have here has in store for us. Don't get eaten by crocs, kiddos. Yeah. Join us next time as we explore this beautiful place. Finally get to enjoy the parts of this lifestyle that we love the most in what seems like ages. We meet some cheeky locals. Oh my God, they're pulling our anchor take an adventure up the mangrove river. Uh. <laughs>
a baby crocodile. I don't know, it's insane. Why would you put a rock right there? Come on now. Where'd you go, Mr. Fish? Mr. Fish. There he is.